Shalom, shalom. Do y'all remember these cartoons we used to watch when we were young? When we come along like the Flintstones right here. Couldn't wait to get home to see Fred and Barney act a fool. They were the cartoon we grew up on. Even this uh, Buzz Bunny. Yeah, Buzz Bunny, he was, that was another good one. That a lot of kids back in the uh, 70s and 80s used to watch. You know what I mean? Buzz Bunny was another funny one. And then you had this right here. The Super Friends. And you had what, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Hell, I don't know the rest of them, but uh, y'all know what I'm saying. But in this clip, I want y'all to watch what these kids watching. Start watching what they're trying to show our kids through these cartoons. Watch this next clip I'm about to put up. I have a question. Have you ever thought to yourself, why do they keep pushing this if it doesn't seem to work? Like virtually everything you read is you can still get this. You still get that. This can still happen to you. What's the purpose of it, right? It's almost like if they give you this for car accidents, right? And you're like, oh, so if I get this, I won't get in a car accident? No, you'll still get in a car accident. So if I get this, I won't die in a car accident. No, you'll still die in a car accident. So what's the purpose of it? Well, it's something that you need in order to drive a car. But why? I don't get it. I've been driving for 20 years. What's the purpose? Well, you just take it. Does that make sense? Like, it doesn't help you do anything differently, but they want you to take it. Well, I think I found out why they're requiring this virtually everywhere. The answer, in my opinion, is this. This is the first stage of something. See, first is going to be this. And second is going to be this. What is this? I'll tell you in a second. This actually changes, I'll say it again, changes your DNA. So you're not necessarily the same person. And I'm sure you've read about this. And if you haven't, read about it. It's it's plain in sight, it's, it's out there. It literally changes your DNA. And the reason for this, in my opinion, is to change the coding in your immune system. So, so if a foreign object or a foreign substance or a foreign particle was to go inside of your body your immune system your white blood cells won't attack it this is very important so where you are now without this your body literally has a natural immune system and even if you need a kidney or a heart transplant your body is going to attack it because it's not yours right but once you get this there's a possibility, because I'm not a scientist, that your body doesn't attack a foreign thing going inside of your body. Now, what does this mean? This is important for stage two to happen, which is this. What is this? Check this out. And before I show it to you, it's a cartoon. And the significance of it being a cartoon is meant to talk to the youth. So by 2030 or 2040 the young people will see this as something normal and something they'll be excited to have keyword excited to have so it's scaring us grown folks but they put it in a cartoon so our kids can be like oh wow that's awesome i can't wait to grow up so i'll be able to get this so this is the reason why they pushing this that doesn't even work Watch this. Carter City is stunned by the sudden rollout of Rook Unlimited's most fantastic device ever. The Smart Mark. Throw your other devices away because the Smart Mark is more than just a phone. It's part of you. Use it as cash. 23% of the population has been given the Smart Mark, number one. Time to test our system, number six. Let's put our new recruits to work. Suffer. We should find the Flex Fighters. I ought to find the Flex Fighters. We should find, we the, should Flex find fighters. the Flex Fighters. I vowed to make it all change. 
to make it all better. All these years working in secret, rising up the ranks of the tech men, it was all leading to this day. Order has finally been established in Charter City.